basic premises of vsa is that the market is being manipulated like in a candlestick uh, you know, always need a confirmation kisi ne bahut zyada stocks wahan se short kiye hain ya fir apni position khatam ki hai normally it ha- happens in an uptrend if i didn't buy this stock when it started moving i should not be buying it here was the best time to be, like for an aggressive we can buy it here because all signs are positive here uh, because these are momentum trades and uh, on a swing trading na to main inko occasionally check karta hu but stopping volume is much more हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ ट्रेडर्स टॉक आज हमने जिनको इनवाइट किया है ही इज मिस्टर कार्तिक मरार एक इंट्रोडक्शन दे देता हूँ यू गाइस नो डेट नो डेट आई हैव बीन ट्रेडिंग फ्रॉम 2009 जिस टाइम पे हम लोग ट्रेड करते थे उस टाइम पे ट्विटर नहीं होता था उस टाइम पे uh, कोई ज़्यादा इंटरनेट के ऊपर सोशल मीडिया नहीं होता था उस टाइम पर ट्रेडिंग फॉरम्स होते थे एंड एट दैट टाइम आई यूज टू लर्न फ्रॉम मिस्टर कार्तिक मरार ही डिडेंट नो अबाउट मी बट हम लोग उनको जानते थे बिकॉज उनका जो एनालिस आता होता था हम लोग उसको फॉरम्स के ऊपर रीड करते होते थे मैं तब की बात कर रहा हूँ जिस टाइम पे टू थाउजेंड नाइन में क्रैश आके हटा था उस टाइम पे निफ्टी वॉज समवेयर अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड टू सिक्स थाउजेंड लेवल्स सो तब से आई हैव बीन अक्वेंटेड विद मिस्टर कार्तिक मरार रिसेंटली वेन ही ज्वाइन ट्विटर सो I immediately followed him and then I got into conversation with him when we decided ki hame podcast karni hai so I knew I had to bring Karthik sir so I was requesting him for a long time ki sir aapka jo volume spread analysis ka session hai wo hum logo ne karna hai so uh, welcome Karthik sir welcome uh, to the show uh, thank you very much Rohit yeah so actually it is yeah good to I mean thank you for uh, inviting me and you also have been doing a lot of good work uh, I've been following you on uh, twitter so here uh, we will try to uh, give a brief introduction to the volume spread, uh, spread analysis of course the subject is a bit vast you cannot cover in one uh, session of an hour so what i plan to do is just to uh, show uh, you how uh, to look at volume from the perspective of uh, vsa because it's totally different okay. from the conventional way we look at volume Uh, so we will uh, have a few examples of course we will cover uh, some four major uh, signs of vsa that is signs of strength and signs of weakness just as an example how volume is uh, looked at in vsa perspective okay uh, so okay. shall i start now yeah sure sir it's it's in your hands now okay now uh, so volume spread analysis so let's look at a few uh, basic things uh, what is volume spread analysis now the volume spread analysis attempts to read the action of smart money uh, we all know the smart money is what is moving the market so uh, we as a attempts to read the actions of the smart money by reading uh, three things that is the uh, close price spread and the volume spread is the total uh, the high minus low of the uh, bar so we are looking at the price action that is with the close price and the spread how much the uh, actually moved from low to high and the total volume uh, of the uh, transactions now the basic premises of vsa is that the market is being manipulated i think most of us now do agree that it is being manipulated and uh, this was originally uh, promoted by richard wyckoff uh, as early as 1940s so what he said is uh, he said let's call him the composite man he called this composite man uh, i mean the smart money as the composite man because it is not one uh, individual or it is a group of people so he called the, uh, the smart money as the composite man who in theory sits behind the scenes that is he is not really visible and he manipulates the stock to your disadvantage but if you know what he is doing you can really profit from that so that is the attempt uh, vsa is uh, doing actually so the uh, manipulation has got uh, different phases you can say uh, one is the accumulation uh, then the markup then there is a distribution and markdown of course nowadays uh, people have different names for this stage 1 stage 2 you must have come across mark minervini calls it stage 2 stage 3 like that so 
but basically it is the accumulation markup distribution and markdown though you can call it any any name so you can see here uh, this is the actual chart where you can clearly see the different phases accumulation phase the markup phase the distribution phase and the markdown phase and again the cycle gets repeated again again it start accumulation and markup so this goes on like this so let's quickly look at what is accumulation accumulation is a slow process of conjuring the stocks without any attraction that is you will not know it is being uh, uh, accumulated the volumes are low there is not much action and the stock is moving in a range so you will nobody will know that it is being accumulated then comes the markup phase the uh, once enough uh, uh, supply has been absorbed by the smart money then they will go into the markup phase the stock breaks out of the congestion zone that is you should, uh, normally in the accumulation state uh, you, you it's in a range or in in, in a congestion zone so it it breaks out with a very high volume then the stock moves up in stages that is it goes up and then again uh, sort of uh, consolidates moves up again like that it marks up in in uh, uh, <coughs> in phases like like there's an up move there's a small down move then like it, then in between there will be uh, congestion happening so <coughs> So this is the markup phase. Then comes the uh, distribution phase, where the smart money, uh, once they, uh, uh, when a lot of retail investors jump in, they start uh, offloading the stocks to the weak hands, but at higher prices. This distribution continues till uh, the uh, stock, I mean the supply of the, with the uh, smart money is uh, over, and then they go into a markdown phase. where the supply totally overruns the demand and the stocks uh, prices start stumbling and there's panic in the market and there's a panic selling and there's, there's a rapid uh, uh, down move of the uh, prices so in uh, vsa we use this uh, the uh, the structure to uh, get ourselves some trading opportunities so you can see like this is the normal uh, how the stock is moving there is a consolidation there is an up move markup phase then again there is a v accumulation or some con- congestion here and then it moves up then there's a distribution then there is a markdown again there could be a distribution then finally again it goes into a accumulation zone so what we need to do is to identify the consolidation areas where the stock is consolidating uh, consolidating and the uh, price uh, rejection zones are there and price support zones these are, are the areas where uh, we can get opportunities for trade now if you look at uh, vsa but uh, it looks the volume very differently from the con- conventional per- perspective actually in the conventional rules you can say the volume is increasing the price is also rising it is supposed to be bullish but in vsa it need not be so we'll we we'll look at it later but it will be different in vsa and similarly a decreasing volume and a falling uh, price this is again bullish and increasing uh, volume with the uh, in, uh, prices falling is bearish and decreasing volume with the uh, rising uh, prices again bearish so these are the general sp- perspective which we have uh, for volume uh, the conventional one but we we will look at uh, the uh, how vsa looks at volume differently now in the vsa the volume interpretation depends on the location of the bar or where the volume has happened and the associated price action so if it is in an uptrend the uh, perspective will be different and maybe in the lower trend uh, the perspective will be different so in generally weakness comes in uptrend and strength comes in downtrends but normally we would say like uptrend is like bullish its strength but here it is different you can spot weaknesses in when there is an uptrend and you can spot strength when it is in a downtrend okay so uh, 
Actually, Tom Williams was the one who worked on Wyckoff's ideas to formulate methods to analyze individual bars. If you look at Wyckoff's works, it is does not talk about uh, individual bars. Basically, it is an up move or down move where uh, where there is a shake out, uh, <coughs> where the spring. All these uh, are concepts of uh, Wyckoff. But Tom Williams was the one who uh, sort of formulated how you can look at VSA in on individual bars and to understand how the smart money moves. Okay. Now, uh, some basic parameters we said, there are three basic, the sp uh, spread, volume, and the close. Okay, so the, what is spread? Spread is the high minus low, the overall spread of the bar or the candle, you can say, the high minus low is called the spread. Okay, <clears throat> normally, uh, no, we, when you want to evaluate, you have to have some benchmarks. So we take uh, high is, about uh, one point above 1.5 times the average we take it as high and about uh, less than 0.7 times the uh, average we take it as uh, narrow spread and similarly volume also we take uh, we have to have a benchmark so we we consider a high volume as above 1.5 times the average we consider high volume and uh, 0.7 less than 0.7 times the average volume we consider as uh, the uh, uh, low volume. Normally, we would take about uh, uh, six months uh, average as the average volume. Okay. Uh, of course, one can have a different benchmark, but I usually take it as like six months uh, volume average uh, uh, and for uh, six months average. And similarly, like you have to uh, see where the close of the bar. You can say up close is like when it is closing near the high it is up close when it's closing near the middle of the bar we would say mid close and when it is closing at the low of the bar we would say down close and also we uh, to see where there is selling and buying we approximate uh, this high minus uh, close would be we consider a selling of course in a, uh, in a given time frame it can go up, down, up, down, up, down. Finally, we arrive at an overall bar, which is high, low, open and close. But for simplicity's sake, we always assume that high minus close would be the selling pr uh, pressure or the selling is happening in this uh, area and the buying is the close minus low. So that's how we uh, try to <clears throat> simplify things. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, and based on the basic parameters, we define some uh, bars as signs of weak strength or weakness. Okay, there are many signs uh, uh, of signs of strength. You can say uh, stopping volume, effort to move up bar, selling climax, test for supply, spring, two bar reversal, reverse up thrust. All these are supposed to be signs of strength, whereas the weakness is an up thrust bar pseudo up thrust bar, effort to fall bar, the buying climax and the two bar reversal. Now, uh, of course, we cannot cover all of them within uh, the short time. So what I will do is uh, we will look at the most powerful signals uh, in the, among these. Uh, I will take two from the strength and two from the weakness. Okay, uh, the most powerful ones, which are more frequent and they really help us. So. First, we will cover the uh, signs of weakness, the buying climax signal, what I call it's a magic of uh, potential buying. It's a potential buying, buying climax. Okay. okay. Basically, like the market is making top. Yeah. Uh, well, see, when, when uh, uh, like in a candlestick, uh, you always need a confirmation the next uh, bar or the next couple of bars for any signal, any candlestick signal. You, you know, you need a confirmation. Similarly, in VSA also, you need a confirmation whether um, this is really a buying climax or not. So, but this is a really, really potential signal. And normally it ha happens in an uptrend. Okay. Usually after a substantial rise, usually after a substantial But you would find such uh, bars even... Uh, much below before and a real high uptrend happens and it will be a very widespread up bar closing near the high 
it is like almost like start uh, close uh, open at the low and you have a full up move and it closes near the top here but the volume will be ultra high it is not even high it will be ultra it will be like 3 4 times the average volume so um, it will be ultra high. normally if you look at it if you look at the last 6 months this will be the highest volume so I've you can take it like uh, 10 months some 12 months but i i uh, take it as every 6 uh, the highest volume in 6 months would be considered as a um, ultra i mean for a potential buying climax purpose i will take it as an ultra high volume okay now we will look at some examples actually okay now what how do you interpret it uh, what is happening in this bar like what is happening uh, during this bar Sir, according to me there was an uptrend and suddenly uh, If we have to look at two ways, uh, मैं दो तरीके से देखूंगा इस चीज को एक तो था कि अप ट्रेंड चल रहा था एंड सडनली दब्लिक गॉट टू मच इंटरेस्टेड एंड दे स्टार्ट बाइंग द स्टॉक दैट इज वाई देर वॉज अट ऑफ वॉल्यूम या फिर इंस्टीट्यूशनल मनी है जो इतना वॉल्यूम क्रिएट कर रही है नॉर्मली वॉट एपन्सिकुलेशन Uh, strong hands or the smart money is passing off a huge quantity of their stock to the weak hands because there is all, uh, the background is very very positive people are very positive it is going to move up very high so even the previous bar would be generally be a, an up bar so here in this particular bar what happens is uh, the huge amount of stock changes from strong hands to weak hands okay normally it would indi- indicate uh, the end of an up move though even it might be temporarily but the current up move would be halted okay uh, that is what the move need not necessarily reverse immediately it could end after a few more sessions okay there could be still more uh, supply left and that has to be passed on to the weak hands then only the uh, beating down of these the prices will can happen okay and but this uh, like you said you made a very good observation that it could be a big in institutional money coming in here so that is why we need it could be uh, like represents some strong hands making a big entry that's exactly what you said big institutions making a big purchase so you can see such high uh, bars so the next bar would tell us really what is the story okay now uh, now what what do we look for when you see such a bar so what do we have to do what 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 should be our action action that is we observe the, the following uh, yeah. uh, i i'm just i am just interrupting you here because when you said ki uh, what you will do here i almost always uh, ignore the stock because i have a thinking that um, if i didn't buy this stock when it started moving i should not be buying it right now when it is so much off its standard deviation right now Okay. Uh, even if I have to buy, I have to buy it at a pullback, not right now, at least. Oh, that's a good, good uh, this thing because this is a this is a sign of weakness. So you would, you will see further when we take some examples. Okay. I mean, sir, last last a year ki jo bull rally hai, uh, you might have noticed stocks like IRFC, RVNL, and IRCTC vagara the, jinko log itna zada regard karte the, mm-hmm. they exactly gave this type of mood. एकदम से दे वर अप 15 20% एंड एवरी रिटेल इन्वेस्टर वाज लाइक कि मुझे अभी इसको बाय करना है एंड आई वाज आस्किंग देम कि होल्ड योर गन्स लेट इट गिव अ पुल बैक यस यस ओके वेरी ट्रू वेरी ट्रू ओके सो इफ यू सो व्हेन यू यू सी डाउन बार्स देन वन शुड बी कॉशियस ओके आल्सो कीप एन आई ऑन द वॉल्यूम सो द नेक्स्ट बार इफ इट्स अ डाउन बार एंड हाई वॉल्यूम देन इट मेक्स द वीकनेस मोर प्रोफाउंड because the previous was an up up bar with high volume the next is a down bar with high volume that means the markdown has started okay so if we see up bars then the strength is in sometimes like you said like uh, institutions are buying into it uh, then the next bar would be an up bar and if it is on high volume it's really strength so so one has to look at the volume of the next bars 
so essentially it becomes a two bar pattern yeah yes okay and the high and low of the bar gains much importance here okay a close below the low of this bar one should get out it because it will push it further down and a close above would indicate increased bullishness because whatever supply in this bar was is been absorbed okay now i will uh, go to some examples let me go to uh, now that i'm discussing it with you it makes a lot of sense uh okay let me take an example okay uh see you can see here it was moving up right then yeah. you have a bc bar here first of course yeah. you, you see it's a bc bar here yeah right this is a bc bar you can see it right yeah i can yeah so the next bar was an up bar so still yeah there a lot of supply is still left so again some sideways move then again you see a bbc bar this is where yeah. really the stock passed on and the next one you can see a down bar and from there it has been going down going down like it marked the end of an up move okay yeah so many times what happens is like uh, what we should do is immediately you can put i call it the shadow of supply okay okay what happens is like many times because there is a lot of uh, because many people are trapped here like yeah a lot of weekend so there is a lot of supply that supply has to be absorbed so i there is always i call it the shadow of supply so many times what happens in an up move it it uh, the stock remains in within the supply area for some time and then finally it breaks out again and when it breaks out of this that that's a good time to buy the stock because all the supply has been absorbed and then it will move up let me see if I sir yahan pe main kuch add karu because i am discussing this thing with you सर एक बारी ग्लैंडमार्क का चार्ट ओपन करो आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू शो केस की कई बारी हमारा माइंड कैसे हमको हिंडर करता है नई चीज लर्न करने से एंड व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग विद यू इट्स जस्ट ओपनिंग अप सर ये वाला पॉइंट देखोगे आप इसका डेली चार्ट एक बारी रीसेट करना जरा सर इसको 923 के आसपास की बात है इसकी 923 के बाद ओके एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट जहां पे ये बड़ी सी रेड कैंडल बनी है ना जून के अंदर at this point when this red candle was formed and immediately after that isne apni high break ki thi i was of the reasoning ki kisi ne bahut zyada stocks wahan se short kiye hain ya fir apni position khatam ki hai but immediately in the next 3 or 5 4 or 5 days price wapas wahan se climb kar gaya because somebody was buying the stock usko lag raha tha ki isme abhi bhi value value hai yeah so द मोमेंट उसने उस प्राइस को दोबारा तोड़ा और वहां से वापस ऊपर को ब्रेक करने शुरू कर दिया विद इन फोर और फाइव डेज इट वॉज अ साइन डेट दिस स्टॉक इज बुलिश एंड इट विल गो मच हायर मच हायर सो ऐसे जब वी शेप बाय आती है तो मैं उसको बड़े ध्यान से देखता होता हूँ बट उसी वी को आप एक तरीके से रिवर्स भी कर सकते हो बिकॉज वेन अ लॉट ऑफ वीक हैंड्स हैव गॉट एन ट्रैप्ड इन टू द स्टॉक लाइक सेंचुरी प्लाई जिसके अंदर इतना बड़ा वॉल्यूम आया था अब बिकॉज दे आर वीक हैंड्स तो जिस पॉइंट से उन्होंने बाय करना शुरू किया है जैसे वो नीचे को टेस्ट होगा उस पॉइंट के ऊपर वो पैनिक करके निकलना शुरू करेंगे और वो ही उस स्टॉक को नीचे ले जाएंगे तो डेट्स वाई आई वॉज गेटिंग देर की आपका सेंचुरी प्लाई वाले के अंदर जब आप वो रेक्टेंगल बना रहे थे ना तो इट मेड एक्सिक्यूट सेंस ऑल्सो लाइक the next bar and as we it's remained up that shows yeah. the there's lot of strength in this stock yes so, so this is a very i will take one more uh, quick example let me see do you see bank it was a good example where it, yes okay. okay so you see see this bc bar here happened yeah. okay yeah and it immediately pushed down it came to the 200 dma and here it again it attempted to take out this 
shadow of the bc war but did not mm-hmm. succeed so again again it tried then finally sort of gave up and then came down so there were two attempts to take out the supply but so this is a very very potential signal and but it can happen even much below also huh? but somebody is like uh, somebody is transferring all the stocks to weekends so even here you can see here right i will put the shadow it remained it was never able to succeed in taking out this the shadow of the bc bar sir iska ek reason ye bhi ho sakta hai because jo aapki uh, bc bar thi uske andar jab weak hands trap hue the hmm. unko expectation thi ki market yahan se ekdam se upar jayegi but yes, now yes. because they are trapped every time the price reaches that point they start selling and just covering their position at break even true true exactly yes okay so um and you know if it is uh, you can spot this BC, now i am having the daily chart it can happen in this uh, weekly chart also and they are really really have, in my experience powerful signals okay okay once it goes about the above the shadow of the bc bar i, I normally consider it is very uh, strong there is a lot of strength in that uh, stock okay okay so i think these two examples would be good enough uh, let me go back to my presentation now uh, the next one this is called the atras bar normally okay. end of up so you can say okay here it is very similar to uh, the bc bar but i mean the only the price action is different and the volumes are okay. different but end result could be the same okay now okay what happens is it's a widespread bar okay uh, widespread up bar but closing near the low unlike the bc bar bc bar closes on the upside but this is closing at or near the lows and the volume is high it is not neither like never ultra high normally it is high it could be like 1.5 times to maximum 3 times sir it is never ultra high okay and normally happens after a up move and most probably the previous bar will be a very widespread uh, up bar on high volume you can notice always it is it yeah, be after a up bar okay i have and okay what is interpretation here here again the prices are marked up attracting weak hands the fomo effect is there the previous yes. bar, bar was a very uh, um, high volume up bar wide spread bar so a lot of strength everybody nobody wants to be left out they won't jump into the stock with the retail public so it is a fomo effect and people are jumping and then the prices are marked down towards the end of the day the prices are marked down and it closes near the low trapping so many retail hands here okay so so it generally happens out of widespread up bar with volume portraying a picture of great bullishness okay everybody is saying this is going to move up because conventional uh, uh, volume interpretation is up bar it is going to go up very strong a strong volume is high so everybody is jumping into the stock okay and generally marks the end of the current up move it need not be the end of the total uptrend but at least you will see a lot of weakness coming after the up thrust bar okay higher the volume more the weakness wide wider the spread more the weakness okay lower the close more weakness so you just looking at the bar you can say it's how effective is the up thrust bar now it is more effective after a long longer trend okay now once you see this bar what to look for again we need confirmation like the candlestick we need confirmation so you look at the subsequent bar if the next bar is a down bar it comes to confirm weakness okay and higher the volume more profound the weakness that is uh, next bar is a down bar on higher volume the weakness is more profound okay 
सो ज्यादा वॉल्यूम ज्यादा वीकनेस है ऑल वाइडर ऑल्सो द वाइडर द स्प्रेड मोर प्रोफाउंड ओके द नेक्स्ट बार इफ इट इज अगेन अ वाइड डाउन वाइड स्प्रेड डाउन बार इट विल बी मोर वीकनेस ओके बट इफ द नेक्स्ट बार इज अगेन एन अप बार द वीकनेस ऑफ द अप थ्रस्ट बार इज नेगेट विल बी नेगेटेड सो वी ऑलवेज नीड अ कंफर्मेशन ओके here again the high and low of the uptrust bar gain some significance just like the bc bar okay and always look at the background of, uh, for strength or weakness uh, the what was the previous move whether it has been a strong up move or it's a sideways move so you look at um, the background whether there's strength or weakness okay so the subsequent move depends on the background strength okay Okay. Uh, now uh, again, let me go to uh, uh, an example. Sorry, I'm just taking some random examples. Okay, so we can see this in many many charts. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem. Sir, आप जो चीजें बता रहे हो ना normally हम उनको जल्दी जल्दी look up नहीं करते because we are so much occupied with the technical analysis and forming patterns etc. that we forget to look at the individual bar and what the bar, exactly. exactly. patterns are telling us on the candle itself yes okay now let's start in a uh, here there's an up move happening here okay this is raymond chart hmm. and you are you have an the previous bar is a effort to move up bar what do you call it, it is like in, it's an effort to move up bar which is a, is again a, a sign of strength okay you this the uh, high above average uh, volume white spread uh, bar closing near the top the next one you can see it's again a white spread bar but the closing is near on the lower side right yeah and the volume was higher than the previous bar yeah so this is a sign of here but since it is not really closing at the bottom and the volume was not very high but it still it is weak so what we do normally i would put i would draw the uh, okay okay high and low i will mark the high and low okay so the next bar is again a down bar but the volume was not very high okay but it broke the it, here it broke below the low of the ut bar okay so it it is going down many times you it will go down further but here since the weakness was not too much because of the uh, volume was not too high and the close was not at the low it was somewhere on the lower side so it, some weakness came some supply came and again it moved up here okay again you have back to back bc bars but again it is the first one totally negated by the next bc bar but here some effect it moved sideways and here it came to the top and then all bullish signals and here you have a ut bar it's a really wide spread ut bar it's a lot of guys trapped here actually so then it was really pushed down So this is an example of uh, UT bar. You can find so many of them, and very very common signal, but very effective. Whenever you see a UT bar, one has to be cautious. Okay. So I'll go back to the next one. Uh, selling climax. Uh, Now, sir, one stock, one stock check. Kare. Yeah. TCPL pack. Two to three days back, it gave a very big move. TCPL pack. TCPL. TCPL pack. Yeah. TCPL. This one. सर चार्ट पे एक बारी रीसेट कीजिएगा या आई वाज लुकिंग एट इट बिकॉज़ मैं इसके ऊपर ना बुलिश था सो दिस दिस कैंडल आई वाज लुकिंग एट दिस बिग कैंडल बिग बिग कैंडल यस ओके इट्स स्टिल बुलिश या इट हैज क्रॉस्ड अबाउ द या सो यू आर राइट इन योर एनालिसिस इट्स स्टिल बुलिश बिकॉज़ आई एम बुलिश फ्रॉम 1100 लेवल सो इट फील्स नाइस <laughs> okay fantastic nahi <laughs> 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 because i was uh, because these are momentum trades and uh, on a swing trading na to main inko occasionally check karta hu so okay, okay. i checked it day before yesterday maine kaha ye zyada move ki thi to mujhe aaj yaad tha iska 
I was looking at two stocks, and this and this one. Anyways, okay. still, still, it's still bullish. Even you have a nice example of a uh, here. It's a UT bar. So yeah. again, it it remained within for some time. No, it remained within that. UT bar, the like supply shadow, you can say of the UT bar, remained. Then it again pushed up. Okay. So again, it's sir, going up to the high of the BC bar. Mm-hmm. Again, it's, it's bullish, and the volume is also good. Sir, one question, my aap se aur hai. Jaha tak pattern ki baat hai, that is fine. Yeah. Aap ne koi ek basic criteria bhi rakha hua hai ki agar if you have to go bullish on some stock for swing trading, to aap uske upar bullish ke liye kya scan use karte ho uske liye? uh what i do is like uh, hmm, like i said normally i will i was looking at the uh, uh, price uh, let me take an example okay hmm, what was the recent one hmm, i had a good example where i could show okay this oil and gas sector is bullish right now yes Okay, let me take then one of my trades. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rejection. See what I do is like let me add my favorite indicators. Okay. Okay. The VPA one. No. Okay. Yeah. Now. Uh, See, the stock was moving up, and then here there was some price rejection. It was pushed back down. Here it came up to the 200 DMA, right? So now it's going to move up again and trying to take out this price rejection zone. Okay. So here is where you can see a high volume. I start yeah. watching it when both your money flow and the relative volume, when relative strength becomes positive, that. it comes into my stock uh, this uh, if you are aggressive you can even buy it from here when it this is a very good area to buy because you know your uh, re- uh, relative strength is positive your uh, uh, money flow is positive and it is crossing above from below the uh, 200 dma it is crossing above the your uh, the three uh, short term moving averages yeah okay uh, basically i use uh, 20 uh, 35 In sixty, it is like one month, one one and a half month, three months, like that, you know. Okay, so so so, so one basic question, sir. जो ये relative strength आप use करते हो और जो MFI आप use करते हो, ठीक है? These are uh, inbuilt indicators, or you have designed them specifically for yourself? Um, it's available to for everybody. The relative strength I've shared uh, actually it is available in uh, Trading View itself, and the okay. MFI, of course, Trading View has got very strict uh, rules. They did not allow me to post it, so I have shared the code with most of the people. Uh, what I know is, my sir, this MFI ko bahut dher ke. I am looking at the MFI after a long time. Uh, yeah. When we used to do ME broker at that time, MFI was like volumes. Its color coding was like red on top, green on top, and color on top. So I will have to check this thing out. Okay, and it is uh, uh, at least it shows that money is coming into the stock. For that's why I am more interested yeah. in this. normally i mean i use very few indicators so relative strength mfi and my own built in like uh, buying pressure those kind of uh, my own indicators it's av- okay, available for everybody it is uh, sir ek cheez aur puchu aap se pardon uh, ek cheez aur puchu aap se ab jab main baat kar hi raha hu samne mujhe dikh raha hai to this relative relative strength is a basic indicator or is it a relative strength comparative to something is compared to the now i i use the it is compared to normally like an index so i use the uh, um, nifty 500 so because oh, it fine. the broader market i don't uh, need uh, use nifty itself because it is a okay. large cap but i i want the representation of the broader market so i use the 500 okay fine fine that makes sense yeah. and uh, of course here it um, the delivery volumes are not possible because uh, i use ami broker i use mfi with the delivery volumes so it is on the real oh, okay. money flow actually okay, okay. so yeah so here, is, here was the best best time to be, like 
if you're an aggressive you can buy it here because all signs are positive here but mm. uh, one like this should be like the price rejection zone is crossed here so my buy was mm. here actually 487 this was a recent okay. one okay. okay then i keep tracking wherever there is a what i can add here like when here again is there's a sideways move then goes to the next step here again a sideways move it is breaking about this uh, sideways move i can add here like that this is my recent uh, now it's it is again an up move so it is still a lot of strength there in granules this See, is well, nice. i made a post also in trading view about this so normally whatever i like most of it whenever i post something i do buy that this is good sir aage move karte hain sir okay now coming to the uh, signs of strength right i covered two uh, uh, signs of yeah. uh, weakness i will cover two more because i think we are running out of time it's already 45 minutes more than 45 minutes so we'll quickly cover this uh, like buying climax the opposite side is the selling climax okay yeah so in a downtrend you will find a wide spread Uh, bar on ultra uh, high volume and it is will be always be closing down it is exactly the opposite of a buying climax okay okay now appears after a long downtrend this this is not a very common signal uh, but it's a rare signal but it's a very strong signal when you see a, a selling climax you can be assured that that the end of the downtrend has come like So indicate smart money absorbing all the panic selling. Why the volume is very high, ultra high? Because there's a lot of selling, and you see the, pe- you see the people are there. It's being absorbed, so more and more selling comes. It's a panic selling. And of course, some variations can be found. Close can be of the low as well. So some variations uh, can be uh, found here. Okay, and again, the trend need not stop or reverse immediately. Okay. because uh, still there is can be supply There's a lot of retail still holding at that they so it make a few more bars for the uh, reverse to happen okay so again the same uh, what do we look for when you see a, a, class, a selling climax bar so what do we look for again we need confirmation look at the subsequent bars the next bar is a down bar again that it means supply is still present okay the stock may reverse or consolidate after supply is yeah uh, the is being absorbed in the next couple of hours so you either you will see then uh, <coughs> some more consolidation or uh, sideways moves happening if the next bar is an up bar with low volume the chance of consolidation is more actually so it, you can see the sideways move and accum- accumulation zone uh, forming so next bars are very important to analyze if the volume is very high that is the next bar is an up bar on very high volume then you would see a v shaped recovery okay here again everywhere the high and low of the selling climax they are good reference points uh, so once uh, normally once it crosses the, uh, the high of the uh, selling climax then it's a good uh, point to buy okay and these are good points of support and resistance as well so let's look at some examples uh, let me see what i have when... sir i think isko differentiate karne ke liye hmm. uh, from a selling pressure it is necessary ki jab ek ya do uh, big candles banti hain with high volumes the next up candles should be with high volumes also not exactly the same as the previous candles but high enough volume to absorb the selling yes yes if True. the volume is less and the bounce back is happening we can expect that it is just a pull back is it true yeah yeah the the, the subsequent you have to see the volume how it uh, uh, let's look at an example and see uh, maybe I'll tell you why I am asking this question because uh, conventionally we have been told that when the market is falling and the volume is rising it is basically a bearish market it's a weak market yeah yeah and in the weak market uh, we look for a pullback 
to trade with the flow of the trend so prices will be reverting back to the mean they will be going towards some moving average and from there we will be selling it yeah but now what you have told is it is a selling climax because that much sold volume has been absorbed yeah theek uh, hai isko wo dekhte hain wahan pe here is an example where you know it was not a big down trend but after a rise price rejection it was pushed down to the 200 dma so it is taking support here and you can see here an ultra high volume here so, sorry this is a little confused this is uh stopping volume uh, let me go to another stock i told you this uh, signal is a little rare actually the stopping volume is more common actually yeah this is here i think so let me check i have seen somewhere that's why okay here here we come hmm yeah so it is the stock was coming down here and you here you have a selling climax this one is a selling climax okay so it's again a very high volume ultra high volume wide spread bar closing down okay so this uh, lot of absorption is happening so you can see that the next one again it is a uh, we'll come to that the next signal which we'll be talking about it is a stopping volume so very soon you can see they started moving sideways hmm. so, so it it indicated that the smart money is started absorbing this all the supply and then you had an accumulation happening here a long accumulation happened here after this so it, this one stopped the but reversal did not happen immediately but the selling climax i find at least in indian markets it's not very common it is a rare signal that's why it's, it's a rare signal but stopping volume is much more so we look at stopping volume now it's again the same smart money absorbing the supply so you would see happens in a downtrend usually after a substantial fall sometimes we can see stopping volume even after a short intermediate down moves okay it is a wide spread down bar closing on the mid or even the upper side okay a selling climax closes on the lower side but this is normally you would find it on the mid or upper side okay because some variations also you can find it closing on the low but always the volume will be your it is not be it will it be high to very high it is never ultra high like volume so volume is the what is differentiating between this uh, selling climax and the stopping volume okay okay so interpretation is the uh, stopping volume is call, also called the it is also called the absorption volume okay okay so uh, this indicates the weak hands are panic selling and the strong hands are stepping in to absorb the selling okay as a result the stock will soon see sideways movement or go into a long accumulation phase so this uh, anyway this will indicate that uh, the bearish move is about to end okay so the stopping volumes are basically alert to impending reversals so you need to keep watching how the reversal is going to happen is it going to happen after consolidation or it will be a immediate reversal can happen okay so again the same what to look for uh, no after you see such a bar so observe the following bars to see if there is a weakness persisting or the strength coming in so if we see no demand bars okay there are some bars called which are no demand bars which indicate that it's no demand at all then are more down bars or an upthrust bar then weakness is still persisting 
and if we see no supply bars up bars with increased volume down bars with reduced volume the strength is coming okay but again swapping volume does not immediately indicate a reversal but it's saying that it is uh, stopping the downtrend that is more important actually okay okay let's look at uh, an example again i was looking at both We saw here itself is examples of stopping volume here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let me go to the other one. Granules where we could. See in this case. Uh, you have a stopping volume here okay it's a widespread or closing on the lower side of course or almost in the mid you can say lower mid you can say and the volume was high the next bar is an up bar okay it uh, above average volume so it bullishness so we almost saw an immediate reversal from here so this these are the uh, four main signals i was talking about this is nice okay so because uh, time is very short i think we already covered almost an hour now so we i just briefly covered uh, these four most important signals you can say and this of the signs of weakness are much more uh, re relevant to us and much more helpful to us because most of us are uh, long term long traders and we uh, because maybe you are on doing on the short side but i do mostly on the long side only so it is more uh, helpful for me these uh, the signs of weakness buying climax and the <coughs> uptrends are much more helpful for me uh, uh, now you saw how the volume uh, differs totally like the perspective is totally different from the conventional yeah. volume So yeah. many times, like you know, even uh, I see people comment, giving commentaries, uh, high volume, good power, strength is there, but they never look at the price action and the spread and things like that. So, so many they be misleading many times. I think what the volume is telling you is about the uh, strength or weakness of the market, but volume spread analysis is telling you exactly what is ha happening at that bar, and giving yes. you a warn warning that whatever strength or weakness was there, it might be about to reverse or about to continue. Yes, very true. Very true. Okay, sir, this was nice. I think, आज के लिए इतना basic बहुत है. Uh, I'll let the viewers absorb this thing. Yes. and uh, once we have absorbed it i will definitely come back to you for the rest of it sure sure any time uh, and if there are any queries i request you to uh, uh, keep looking at the comments so that you can explain that much better than i am but no, uh, thanks sure. a lot for giving me this time i wanted this session My to be sure. i believe in uh, sharing you know me like from tradergy days i've been yeah, always I sharing know, i know All your codes are freely available on your blog. Uh, I have uh, visited it many times. I've seen it. Uh, your volume wave analysis is something that I'm using on Emi Broker right now. So, okay. when there is some signal with me, I do keep an eye on it. Ki what is happening there? So, yeah. But yeah, directly you have to learn. Me, bad. Kuch aur hai. Code, code. Ko dekhna kuch aur hai. So, I'll definitely come back to you with our second session sometime in next two to three months. My okay, pleasure. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.